Good morning. Thank you all so much for being here. I am honored to start this event off. We are going to be doing an unveiling of a mural that a very talented artist, who you will meet in a second, has graciously donated his time and talent to helping beautify our police building, bringing our community and our police department closer together. And uh, without further ado, I want to introduce you to the president of the Police Foundation, Mike Evanoff. If you would please come up for a, a second, please, and say a few words. If it wasn't for the foundation and for Joe, our uh, esteemed artist, this wouldn't be possible. So, uh, Mike? Thanks. Just real quickly, just want to say uh, thanks to the chief for having us all here, and thanks for <laughs> Joe for taking the time to um, put the effort into doing this uh, mural. Um, just want to say two words about the Police Foundation. We're 100% volunteer, little organization. Um, we're really trying to put it together right now. Our goal is to try to get people aware that we're here, that we're trying to work and uh, show people that police are good and get the community more involved with the, the officers in, in the city. I, I personally live in the city. I also uh, have businesses in the city and it means a lot to me that uh, we all work together and uh, people realize that um, to be a police officer, officer nowadays uh, is, is a great thing and they need support from the community and com uh, support from everyone around them. So that's the goal of the Sarasota Police Foundation to try to work together with the um, police department. Thanks, Mike. There are members of the Police Foundation here, if you guys wouldn't mind raising your hand to show that you are uh, involved. I'd like to ask um, uh, Suzanne Atwell, our Vice Mayor, to come up and say a, a few words, please. Mike, what, what you just said, yeah, police are good. Uh, yeah, you got that right. Um, I remember uh, sitting at the commission table, I forget exactly how long ago it was, and we talked about uh, having a foundation. Um, and, and this is what it's all about. Uh, this is the true melding of our police department and the community. And what a better opportunity through the arts. I know we have a lot more to come, but look at this crowd. This is wonderful. I'm so glad there's a lot of press here. This is what it's all about when people ask, what does the foundation do? It's about relationships. It's about community policing. It's about the community, and this, I'm so excited to be here, that this has come to fruition, and this is just the beginning, and the police department, yeah, you are good. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. And our uh, deputy city manager, Marlon Brown. Uh, good morning, and uh, thank you for the opportunity to, you know, to kind of share a couple of words with you. I was just sharing with someone that, you know, uh, Sarasota is known as the cultural coast, mm -hmm. and what an opportune way to show really and truly how we are that cultural coast and the really the, the the partnership between not only the police department but our cultural community um you know the chief when she started she started the blue plus u working with ringling students how appropriate to really create that you know that new uh program um we have a number of artifacts here at the police department we have the the uh, woolworths and artifact that's sitting right out there um, the, the chief shows movies on the, the, the empty parking lot on, on, on weekends. I mean, you know, so we, we are a movie theater as well. So again, how more appropriate showing the warmth of the police department to this community and how we're connected culturally. So again, I appreciate the foundation's work. Uh, Joy, uh, thank you very much for your, your time and your talent. Um, and, you know, obviously there's a connection because you have a, a, a son who is in law enforcement. Mm -hmm. So, again, that shows the connection, the partnership, and how, how linked we are in terms of what we do. So, Chief, thank you very much for this opportunity, and, and Joe, thank you and the Foundation as well. I'm going to ask uh, Christine Goodall, who's also a member of the Police Foundation, to please come up, and uh, I'm going to ask her to introduce Joe, who's actually the artist and going to do the unveiling. And uh, if I could just say one thing, a heartfelt thank you to you for your dedication. Having you here has brought a warmth to our police department. That Just seeing your face, seeing how police officers and our uh, employees here, when they walk by and see the work that you've done, and if you see right behind the officers that are standing there, he's continuing his art. We're not gonna let him go until he, uh, he makes our whole building more beautiful. And uh, yeah, that we got six more, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, so I thank you so much. Um, there's a special connection between you and the police family, especially with you having a, a son that's a, a police officer, but it's more than that. 
And uh, we're proud that this legacy that you're leaving us is going to be on our walls forever. And uh, so without further ado, Christine. It's, it's emotional for me because Joe and I have been friends for 16 years, and my best friend's in the room here somewhere, too, who's been an officer for a long time. And it was one of the reasons why I got involved in this foundation is to help educate, assist, and honor our police department. So every officer here, I thank God for you every day so I can sleep well at night. You guys are amazing. Joe, thank you so much for doing this piece of art and giving back to this police department. You, it started with a small drawing on a napkin at Starbucks and, um, and working on a centennial badge, which you'll see in the new year. All the officers will be wearing a new badge um, that Joe has helped design. So I'd like to introduce to you Joe Cafaro. Thank you. Uh, before I get started, I'd like to introduce my wife, Grace. My youngest son, Adam. His lovely wife, Michelle. My son, Mark. His lovely wife, Lisa. And all my grandchildren, some of my grandchildren are all standing around me. And your granddog. You have a granddog. Uh, four months ago, I had received a phone call from this lovely lady asking me if I would consider doing some sketches for a badge, a commemorative badge. And I did. I submitted some, some sketches and this lovely lady accepted one of them, and from there, uh, the center of that badge, and you'll get to see that, the center of the badge is this the circle that I designed um, has become a coin. And from that coin, there are decals. From those decals, there are um, lapel pins. From those lapel pins, it just is a snowball. And then, Chief asked me if I would consider looking at some walls and some ideas that might do to put a mural up. And I made some sketches and the chief and Christine, we collaborated and uh, chief picked two of them out. I, I almost, I, I was going to cover the one that's, that's in progress, but I then thought it might be interesting for you folks to see what it takes to put a mural up on a wall from a raw sketch. Can I, can I have that um, print? Thank you. Thank you. This is a sketch that I would submit to the chief um, for her uh, approval. And we would talk about maybe some changes or whatever. But once it's committed, it's committed. Once it gets on that wall, it's on the wall. Um, let me just kind of give you a little background as an artist. Most of us, whether we're writers or so, uh, songwriters or artists, um, actors, whatever, we want to be able to give our talent and have people recognize that talent. That's the bottom line. And for an artist to paint a painting and then m try to market that painting in galleries is a very, very difficult thing. For an artist to be able to put a mural on a wall that what hundreds of people would see is the, I mean, for me, that is the epitome for me. I've, I'm so grateful to have that opportunity to be able to do that. It's tough, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, at two o'clock this morning, I bounced out of bed, envisioning me pulling this cloth over the top of that and having the mural come with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was my night. Um, so anyway, so we developed that, and my hope was to bring Sarasota into this building. Not to knock this building, but it is stark. It's a contemporary look. It's a lot of glass, a lot of light. Most of the police officers and the people work interior of the building. Some of them have a window, some don't. So I wanted to bring the outside in. I didn't want that first mural to be a cop mural, so to speak. 
So that's, and you'll see that when I unveil it. Uh, but the, the second one, we're kind of reaching that idea. Um, you know what, let's unveil this thing. If I could ask everybody, if you guys could all work, go over there on, uh, on the other side of the camera so they can see it.
I guess that's it. That's, um, I, I tell you, uh, another th thrill for me is have someone come out that door, stop, and say, oh, I know where that is. That's in Thompson's Park. I know that tree. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. kind of cool. So what do you think of our artists? Let's give them another round of applause. but he's also our friend and uh, you're part of the SPD family and part of our community this is an, uh, a true example of partnership policing and uh, I can tell you there will be more than hundreds of people that will walk by this wall every single day and they will think of you and will be grateful for what you've contributed to our police department and I can just tell you I uh, every day I walk off of that elevator and I look over here it calms me it, it reassures me and it reminds me of how beautiful our community is here in, in Sarasota so thank you again Joe I gotta give him another round of applause he's amazing <laughs> First name is Joseph. My last name is Kafaro. Spell your last name just so we all spell it. Okay. C as in Charles, U double F as in Frank, A R O. Okay. And you can look just right at me. Okay. Um, so go ahead and tell me what was it like painting this mural? I and mean, you still have one more left over, but what was the whole process like for yourself? I guess knowing that I was doing a couple of things, I was bringing the beautiful Sarasota into this building. Uh, I was creating an image for people to walk by and enjoy uh, and hopefully it was a calming uh, feeling uh, but most of all in my heart of hearts I was giving to the police department in the sense that I my son who's a police officer in West Palm <coughs> excuse me uh, I, I began to learn what it is to be a police officer and um, so w with that connection, I wanted this to be special. And I, I guess that, that's basically the reason. How important do you think one, I mean, it's not very small, but one gesture of kindness, something that you took from yourself and designed and created, how do you think that'll kind of just help out officers when they're going through their daily, daily routine? Well, I hope that they take with them on their daily routine as they pass that mural or murals. I hope it takes something with them in terms of the, uh, the story, the, the calmness of it, the beauty of it, not the beauty, my mural, but the beauty of, of Sarasota. And I can say, is that what your story is for the officers and everyone out here? I believe so. Um, so you said that you began to learn more about officers and what they go through. I know your son's one, but what was that like learning about their daily trials and tribulations when you were up here? Well, you're a lot younger than I am. I've, uh, I've had a good run in this country. And uh, this country is changing drastically, quickly, overnight. And <clears throat> I went through the, uh, the 60s where there was disrespect towards most people of authority. I was a school teacher at the time. It was a terrible time in this country as well. But I see a, a bad thing happening in terms of respect towards the law enforcement. And uh, I will do anything that I can do to, to improve that, to make that better, even in my own little town, whatever that is. I saw police officers in the street and I thank them, and God bless them for their, for their service. I think most of us have to be aware Young people, especially young people, should be aware of what's happening in this country. And you've got to do things to turn that around. When you were coming up with the design, I know you came up with it a couple of months ago. It sounded like even maybe longer than that. Mm -hmm. Why did you settle on that picturesque view, that really just the beautiful view of Sarasota that we all know and love? Well, my chief has a vision, and I wanted to collaborate with that vision. And we wanted to do something in this building that would warm it, that would bring some type of outside. This is a beautiful town we live in. If you walk in this building, it's glass and, and, uh, and uh, plasterboard. 
So that was really, and, and I met with Christine. Uh, Christine was the one who called me four or five months back. And uh, we sat and made a little sketch or whatever, and they've been gr very gracious. The two of them have been most gracious with my ideas and given me the trust to do what I think uh, I wanted to do. One last question for me. What do you hope others take away from your kind act, your good deed for these officers here? Give back. Use your talents. Give back. Anything else you'd like to say? No. I'm good. I'm good. Bernadette DePino, Police Chief, Sarasota PD. Would you like to spell your first and last name? Yes. B E R N A D E T T E. DePino's D I capital P I N O. So go ahead and tell me how important was this mural for you to really get this done and have this painting? For your officers here. It really is a, an important part of our community policing efforts. It's where we're partnering with citizens in our community who want to make a difference in a positive way. And, and it's about bringing the beauty of the city of Sarasota into a building that is quite stark and, uh, and being able to show our police officers what they are working so hard for every single day. And it's something that brings a lot of peace and tranquility to the police officers who live the lives that are so dangerous and so stressful and this is just a way and now we just thank Joe it's a way for them to see that there's people that appreciate the hard work the police officers do and then to have a, a man like Joe who's got a wonderful family who has a, a history of having law enforcement in their family being the person that's the artist that brought this here just made it extra special and seeing him every single day coming in and painting and working on this and seeing his heart and soul go into it it was so uh, I guess inspiring for all of us here and you did see the difference in police officers and and citizens and people that walked through the building when they saw that they stopped and it just relaxed them it, it, it really made them feel very tranquil and peaceful i was going to ask that joe did a very kind act here something that's going to last for a while how do you think this is going to maybe help spread the contagion to other citizens that are out here in sarasota i think one kind act no matter how big or small and this is a huge one this is on the big scale uh, will lead to other people thinking about what can I do to make a difference? What can I do to be purposeful in this world? And Joe is just a prime example of he wasn't thinking about himself. He was thinking about other people. And I think ultimately that makes us happy when we know that we're working towards helping other people, bettering their lives. And that's what police officers do every single day is they don't think about self. They think about helping others. And I think that's what makes people happy. And uh, I did see Joe uh, often when he was in the building, and he was happy because he was doing something that he loved, but more so that he was contributing towards our police department and leaving a legacy for our police officers and for himself and his family for, for decades to come every time we see the mural that he's left for us. I have police officer friends, uh, family. You know, they don't ask for a lot, so how does that really help, especially in a time that's so uncertain right now? You know, it means so much. We've had citizens come up to us out on the street and say, thank you for what you've done. And to have somebody like Joe come in here and do this for us, this is huge. It's significant uh, to show that he appreciates law enforcement and it shows the heart of our community because I think he represents what the majority of the citizens in our country and here in Sarasota think of police officers. They love police officers. They appreciate what we do. And this mural is just an example of that appreciation and that thanks for those officers. And I know every single day that I see that mural, every single day that our police officers see it, they'll remember the kindness and the appreciation that Joe has given to us. And they'll remember that the beauty of our community is brought back in that mural. It represents the thankfulness that our citizens have for the officers. Okay. Anything else, Chief? Awesome.